Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to our next episode of Ascension, part three. And we're going to talk a little bit about density, uh, also referred to as um, dimension. Uh, both of them are not actually correct or to say they don't they don't really cover the load of what it is. Uh, that has to do something with space and time. Um, it's it's actually just um, densities are just things that are happening around us and you have to be in the right frequency at the right level to be able to detect those. So that's the basic thing of... Um, of density or dimension. So uh, we say that we live in a 3D matrix. Um, and um, the the story is that outside of our planet, outside, outside of the Van Allen belts, there's an intergalactic uh, part that is all 5D. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, there's no way to know Exactly, of course, uh, except for if you would have some some downloads or even some extraterrestrial contact, because um, we cannot actually go beyond the Van Allen belts because of the fact that we have to deal with, uh, with a buttload of radiation. Um, this is also uh, would be a good reason to uh, maybe even validate the fact that people are saying that the moon landing wasn't real. I suppose uh, they could have done something about that, but I don't have enough details to, uh, to really go deep into that. What I do know is that this whole density business it is also happening around us. So uh, 4D is here, 5D is here, 6D is here. And uh, some people say, well, we only go up to 12. And other people say, you know, there's 13 and up as well. It doesn't really matter. The What really matters is that... Um, in our 3D reality, we are kind of limited. And we're only limited because we, we are convinced that we are limited. Like I said, it's a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy. And when you can think of, uh, when you can imagine things being different, if enough people do that, then it becomes a part of our collective and people are able to do this. If you're strong enough by yourself, you may be able, able to do it. So I'm, I'm talking about things like um, telepathy, uh, levitation, that kind of thing. Uh, it would explain why we're not using the maximum amount of our brains. And um, I do think that at a certain point, at a certain density or dimension or whatever you may call it, the need for a physical body just disappears. I do think that where we're going, if we're taking the next steps, um, we will still be reliant on a physical body. So... That's a typical 4D, 5D uh, thing. The thing is, um, it is happening around us. So everything is here and now, like I explained in my episode, Time and Space. Because when you look at this, uh, why would you have visions? 
you have visions of things because they're simply there. A lot of people that do um, uh, the type of drug that would give you so-called hallucinations, are they hallucinations? Because when you talk to people that have done ayahuasca, they pretty much all tell the same story. So is it that the drug incites uh, the same story over and over again? You know, we're so proud of our differences as people, but why would we all get the same story? What if it is something that actually happens to you? What if you go somewhere? And I'm still convinced that you do not go somewhere. It's all here. You just can't see it. You can't hear it. You can't feel it. You can't smell it. Unless you open up some doors in your consciousness. So uh, changing your perspective is a, a very important thing in all of these issues. And that's basically our goal. So when people say we have to ascend, you have to go into the ascension process. All right. What does that mean? It means that you have to be open to everything. I'm not saying that you have to believe everything. You know, there's a lot of people that say seeing is believing. Other people say, well, you have to believe it first to see it. No, no, no. I've said this before on my, on my uh, videos. You have to be open to, the, to many possibilities, and then it will reveal itself. Because the, um, the limitations are only the limitations you give yourself. So forget about, I'm not saying forget about, but it's not, uh, you know, just um, meditation or yoga is going to get you there. It's not like if you just extract yourself from what most people would call the real world and you just start meditating and, and uh, using your singing bowls and say, oh, you have to be in a higher vibration. Like I said before, you also have to keep in contact with your current reality because it's trying to tell you things and it's trying to tell you important things. You've chosen to be in this 3D matrix. There's a good reason for that because you need to pick up the information that's already here. And above that, apart from that, in addition to that, you need to be open to, well, anything. And people get scared or they, they mock me when I say things like levitation or telepathy. But your job is to get there. And it's about you. You can think you have this, uh, you have this big goal in life and that you're here to help people. That's all fine and good and lovely. It's a good thing. If you want to be service to others, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But your main mission has to do with you. You chose to be in this 3D matrix. And the only reason to come here is to learn, to learn some important lessons because the lessons here are hard, really hard. So, and that's why we choose these lessons. We want to go into the difficult stuff. So when we graduate or uh, succeed in, um, expanding our mind with all these mysteries and expanding our expanding our souls with the mysteries that you can solve for you not for everyone for you because when you can
get yourself to a higher level yourself. And a higher level is not uh, being in meditation all the time. It's acknowledging the world around you and knowing that there is more and accepting that the only way to get there is to accept that it is there. But stay in touch with where you are. Because if you go floating all around the place, that's not going to help you. So that's my view on ascension. And that's my view on uh, the densities. When you're ready, it will reveal itself to you. And you know whether you're service to others or not. You know it. Because if you have any knowledge of yourself, any, then you're aware of the fact uh, whether you're being selfish or not in this life. And if you are only a little bit more than half service to others, because you have to be a part service to self, because if you cannot help yourself, forget about everything else. When slightly more than half of you is service to others, then you're in the race. So if it's not happening now, don't get nervous. Don't go, oh, I have to do more. I have to take on bigger adventures. I have to go out in the world. Well, if that is your mission, if that is your mission to go out in the world and spread the word, that's really your mission good that's that's all well and good but you have to be in there for you because you are building it for the collective by the way if you want to know about your mission your actual astrological mission what you are supposed to do here there is a way to find out I'll put some um, some details in the description of a person you can contact, and she'll be able to tell you your exact mission. So if you want to know, if you want to know your galactic origins, if you want to know what kind of density being you really are, because if you're watching this, you're not just some random human most of us aren't because we have a galactic origin and if you want to know about this and if you want to know about the densities and you really want to know where you're going in this life please book a session with this lady she's really good her name is sylvia stelton uh it's available in dutch uh, English and German. So if you're any of these languages, you can just uh, you can just write to her or contact her in these languages. And uh, you can get a, a written report or a Zoom call, which will be recorded. It's fantastic. It's It's something I would recommend to, well, everybody really. So you can find out more about yourself in in that respect okay so those are my views on the ascension uh, process and um well with regards to how to behave concerning raising your vibration and what that really is it's uh, to sum up it's to be service to others but keeping in touch with yourself and keeping in touch with your current reality, which is the 3D matrix. And if you're doing this, you're fine. You really are fine. You don't have to go out and do all sorts of stuff because people say that you have to do it. If you feel compelled, though, to do these things, 
don't let anyone hold you back. If you want to go out in nature, go out in nature. If you want to meditate, meditate. Whatever you want to do, it'll work for you because these are things that you are doing for yourself. And those are very, very, very important because in uh, the current state of the earth, it's very hard to keep up uh, to keep up a positive state. So do anything you need to keep in in an upright position and to to keep strong and and confident. And you can only become confident by doing things for you. So that's very important. And otherwise, you guys are going to be fine. So the next videos are, uh, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into these things. Um, I talked to you through what I w would call the basics right now. There's two more episodes. Uh, please follow them. If you like them, please subscribe. And if you don't want to miss an episode, hit the notification bell. And after that, I will probably try to make a series uh, with some interviews where uh, people that have followed the series uh, can ask me some questions. And um, or maybe I have some interesting questions for them because I really want to talk to you guys about this and uh, get some interaction going. So far, it's been me talking, but um, I want to switch that up a little. So the next series will probably be a, a little bit slower because I have to arrange these uh, videos and the interviewers or interviewees, uh, however they want to see themselves or how this will go. I have no idea. So the rate of, um, of the video is going to be a little bit slower. But for the next two, I think you can expect uh, what you have gotten so far. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any, um, if you have any, and if you want to be um, in a conversation with me, just, uh, just, just, just let yourself be known. All right. So thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Ascension. Thanks a lot. Bye.